Geologists can use a variety of primary sedimentary structures to work out the direction of Junging or the way up direction in rocks. This rock shows sedimentary structures called cross bedding. Cross bedding forms when sand is moved by wind or water currents and deposited in dunes. The colour change in this rock shows the boundary between two sets of cross bedding. Currents move the sand up one side of the dune. When it reaches the top, the sand avalanches down the other side and is deposited in a series of layers that slope down current. These sloping layers of sand build up to form cross bedding. Cross beds in dunes formed by wind currents are usually several metres thick. Those formed in water formed dunes are usually less than one metre thick. Here you can see the sloping layers of sediment that form the cross bedding. They are sloping at an angle of about 20 degrees and the layers are gently curved. Along this line you can see a change in colour. Here a new dune has advanced and truncated or cut off the top of the previous one. The second set of cross bedding is again sloping at an angle of about 20 degrees and the layers are gently curved. The cross bedding shows the general current directions. The current was flowing from left to right in the lower set as shown by the pointer. In the upper set of cross bedding the current was also flowing from left to right. You can work out the direction of Junging from the truncation of the older cross bedding and by the upward curving cross beds that formed on top of these older layers. In the field, if you are recording way up on a sketch of these sedimentary structures, you would indicate the Junging direction with this symbol 